So you're considering moving to the Frederick area and you're wondering where are the best places to live, the best towns, cities, and neighborhoods, and that's what I'm here to help you with. And in this video, I'm going to go over Middletown, Maryland, so you can decide whether or not this is the right place for you to move to. So let's just jump right in. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie Brady and I'm a realtor here in Maryland. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, thank you for being here. I make videos like this every single week about what it's like to live in Maryland, the best places to live in the market updates. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you are considering moving to Middletown or Frederick or the surrounding areas, at the end of this video, just make sure to go into the caption or into the comments and click on the link to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. I know it can be stressful thinking about moving from out of state to a new state, and that's what I'm here to help you with. I'll get you set up with a plan so that your move goes as smoothly as possible. So where is Middletown? Well, it's in Frederick County and it's about 15 minutes west of Frederick. So if you're looking for that small town feel, you're going to get it here, but you're going to be close enough to the amenities of Frederick. And if you're needing to commute to DC, it's going to take you about an hour and 10 minutes to get down there. If you're thinking of going to Baltimore, it's going to take you about an hour and five minutes. And if you're going to Northern Virginia, a place like Leesburg is going to take you about 40 minutes to drive to. And all of this is with no traffic. And if you're coming from somewhere out west, you probably know that the East Coast has a lot of rich American history, and Middletown is no exception. It has both Civil War and Revolutionary War history. And the first settlements in Middletown were made by English and German settlers. And when they recorded the first 100 acres of land with Frederick County, the town was actually called Smithfield. And even though the town of Smithfield was founded in 1740, the first real lots were not sold until 1767, and it continued to develop as Smithfield until July 8th of 1776, where they decided to rename it Middletown. And at this point, you might be asking yourself, Eddie, why do I care about Civil War history? Well, this is actually a big draw to these areas like Frederick and Middletown is that they have character and rich history. People love living in these areas and sometimes in these historic homes. So I think it's very important when you're determining whether or not to move to an area, whether, you know, whether or not you want to move to an area with rich history or somewhere brand new. And this last piece of history might actually help you determine whether or not to move here. And that's that George Washington himself, when he first visited Middletown in the Middletown Valley, he described it as one of the most beautiful places he'd ever seen. And if you go to Middletown, it's no surprise why he said that. The views of the surrounding mountains are incredible. You can have properties in Middletown with a near 360 view of the mountains. So it's no wonder that people chose to move here and settle here and people still choose to live here today. Now, in current day Middletown, the population sits at just over 4,800 residents, and according to niche.com, it is the fourth best place in Frederick County to raise a family. Niche.com also gave Middletown schools an A- rating, which is a great rating, and that's a big reason why people choose to move to Middletown is because of the schools. And the cool thing about the schools here, unlike a lot of the county where you have to drive a significant distance to the schools that you're going to or your kids are going to, Middletown schools are right in town. So you have the elementary, middle, and high school right there close to each other. And other than knowing the school ratings in an area, I think it's also important to know what things there are to do when you move here. Are you just gonna be stuck in your house or are there things to do when you go out into the town and the surrounding area? And although Middletown doesn't have a thriving downtown scene like Frederick, they do have their own events throughout the year, like the Middletown Heritage Festival and the summer concert series and car shows and farmer's markets and plenty of other smaller events throughout the year. And if you are looking for a more steady stream of events throughout the year or larger events, you can just pop into downtown Frederick. And again, that's only 15 minutes from Middletown. So it's a great way to get out, to go downtown to Frederick, and you're always going to have something to do there. And if you're into golf, you're in luck. Middletown has its own golf course, Hollow Creek Golf Course, right outside of downtown. It's actually so close to downtown that you can walk to it. So I think that's a huge perk of this small town. And I don't think you see that in many small towns around Maryland. And if you're a little more adventurous and you're looking to get outdoors and go hiking, well, Middletown's a perfect place to live as that adventure hub. You have the Appalachian Trail actually very close by. You can go to Gathlin State Park. You can go to Gambrel Mountain State Park and hike there. You have Katak right nearby. You have the Frederick Watershed nearby, so you can go hiking, mountain biking. You can go down to the Potomac River in just 15 to 20 minutes and be kayaking, fishing, or floating on the river. So Middletown is the ideal location. It's right in between all of the outdoor activities you can need and also very close to Frederick and shopping and all the activities you can need in downtown. And if this all sounds great to you, you're probably wondering, well, what's the real estate market like here? Are there enough houses? 
What are the price points? Well, let's dive into that real quick so you can determine whether or not you really should be moving here. So let me just start off by saying you're not gonna find actual apartment buildings in Middletown. You might find individual units rented out of houses, so it's you know a multi-unit complex, but you're not gonna find your garden style apartments like you would in Frederick. And if you're looking for a townhouse in Middletown, you're only gonna have three developments to choose from, and they're a little different from one another, so let's go over those since there's so few. The first is the Fountaindale South community, which has two level townhouses that are all in the 1100 square foot range or so with three to four beds and usually two bathrooms. And they sell from the low 200s up to about $300,000. Next, you have Jefferson Village, which is just southwest of downtown. These are about 1,500 square foot, three level townhouses with three beds and usually two and a half baths, and they sell in the low 300,000s. And the third townhouse community is called Glenbrook, and it is actually located on Hollow Creek Golf Course. So you can actually have your backyard back up to one of the holes on the golf course. And these are about 1,700 square foot, three level townhouses with three to four beds, usually three and a half baths, and they sell on the higher end for townhouses in Middletown and the high 300s and low 400,000s. And if you're looking for a single family detached home in Middletown, you're gonna have a lot of variety when you're looking on the market. And that's because this is such an old town. So you'll have everything from extremely old farmhouses that may need a lot of work to newer colonials. So it really depends on your preference and what you're looking for. If you want land or you want a smaller lot, you have all of those options here in Middletown. And the price point can vary because of that. You could be in the top high 200,000s because you find a farmhouse that needs a ton of work or you could be well over a million dollars. So it really just depends but a little helpful statistic here is that at the time of this video, the median price point for single family detached homes in Middletown is about 540,000, which is pretty much on par with the surrounding Frederick area. So I don't think you're getting much of a discount getting outside of Frederick. I think it's about the same, and this is a very desirable area. So I think that trend is gonna continue. I think when appreciation goes up in Frederick, it's also gonna go up in Middletown. And this is just a brief overview of Middletown. There is so much to talk about. So if you're a local watching this video and you've lived in Middletown before, make sure to put in the comments what you liked most about living here so that all of our viewers can have a better idea of what it's like. And if you are considering moving here, again, make sure to reach out to me in the link in the caption or in the comments, and I would be happy to get you started on your home buying journey in Maryland. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all of my videos about living in Maryland.